Whether you're already a content creator or you want to become one, you need a capable PC to edit your videos. Usually creator PCs are quite more expensive than just gaming, but on this video for around $1000, trust me, you will get a PC that's not only great for content creation, but also great for gaming at 1080p and 1440p. I will explain each component and don't worry if you're a beginner, I will try to explain everything for you to understand and I will also explain what this PC is capable of running. You will have the links to all of these components down below in the video description. That being said, let's start. So for the CPU, we have the i5 13600 k this is the latest i5 on the market i currently have this one on my pc and it runs really good as you know i'm a content creator and i've never had any issues with it it also has integrated graphics that will help you out when doing video editing it's going for 300 dollars so not the cheapest one out there it also consumes quite a lot of power so we will need a capable power supply for this one but overall it's a great cpu for the price then for the CPU cooler, we have the Thermal Ride Phantom Spirit 120. This is only $42 and it's a great cooler for the i5 13600K. For the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte B760M, the S3H AX motherboard. Now, this is not the flashiest one out there, but we need to compromise something in order to keep the price around a thousand bucks. With this one, you have two M.2 slots. So in the future, if you need more storage, you will be able to drop another SSD. And overall, it's a nice motherboard for the price, just for hundred dollars. Then for the memory kit, we have the Team Group T4, 32 gigs of RAM, 2x16 of DDR4 at 32 200 megahertz now 60 gigs of ram should be enough for gaming but for content creation i highly recommend you going with 32 gigs of ram or even 64 depending on your workload but i think 32 gigs of ram will be fine for almost everyone and if you need more ram first you will know and secondly you can always upgrade down the line then for the storage we have the p41 2 terabyte gen 4 ssd now if you're a content creator already you already know that you need quite a ton of storage so 2 terabytes in my opinion is the minimum for a content creator PC, especially if you want to do gaming on the side as well. So this kit is awesome and if you ever need more storage, like I said before, you can drop another SSD down the line. For the graphics card, we have the RTX 3060. This is a 12 gig of VRAM graphics card. I usually recommend AMD GPUs, but when talking about content creator, Nvidia is a clear winner here. And for gaming, this one is a 1080p, really good GPU and you can also use it at 1440p. It's not the flashiest 1440p gaming graphics card out there, but it will get the job done for most titles 60 plus fps on average the most important thing here is that you're getting really good performance not only for content creation but also for gaming so you can do both things with no issues then for the case we have the montec air 100 argb micro atx case i absolutely love this one mainly because of the deal it's only 55 dollars at the moment maybe when you're watching this video is at a different price for that reason i will leave an alternative in the description in case you can't find this one on a deal again but 55 bucks for this one is a total steel it has great airflow from a panel for pre-installed rgb fans in my opinion it looks absolutely beautiful the only con is that the build quality is not the greatest but at this price point honestly it's still an amazing choice then last but not least the power supply we have the corsair rm 750e this is an 8 year rated 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply and this is because the i5 13 k and the rtx 3060 consume a ton of power now you might get away with 650 watts, but I wouldn't do any compromises on this PC because I don't want you to risk any component or lose any performance. Now the total price is $1,024 by the time that I'm recording this video. And if you have just a thousand, I would recommend you trying to spend the extra $24. I wouldn't recommend you trying to save any money unless your budget is around $900. In that case, I do recommend you downgrading the CPU to the i5 12600K and the CPU cooler to a $20 cooler and you will be able to to get a PC for around $900 with the i5 12600K, which is still a great CPU for content creation. So that's my recommendation. If you have around a hundred or $130 less, just go with the i5 12600K. Trust me, the 12600K and the 13600K are both great CPUs for content creators. Yes, you're not getting an i7 or a 99, but that doesn't matter for most content creators. Sure, if you're a channel like Mr. Beast, Yes, you need more capable computers, but I highly doubt that you will be editing at 4K with the most high demanding effects out there. 
By the way, with this i5 13600K, you can actually edit at 4K resolution with no issues. So let me know what's your goal in your content creation journey down below in the video description and whether or not you will buy this PC. But if you're a content creator or you want to become one, you don't want to spend more than a thousand dollars. This one, I think is the perfect PC that you can get at the moment because of the price performance that you get on the CPU GPU combination. And if you want a PC just for gaming, you can save quite a ton of money or you can get a PC that's going to perform much better for gaming for a thousand dollars. If you're interested on in seeing that, I recommend you watching my video about the best gaming PC builds of the month in the top right of the screen, where you will have a PC for every budget for gaming. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.